Hello and welcome to the Brothers Grimm Spectacular Fun. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's extreme. See Monster Slaying action as the three headed pig battles the Wolfobot in a bone crushing cage match of death. They'll huff and they'll puff and they'll kick some iron. What we're going to do here today. And then the battle you've all been waiting for Snow White versus Sleeping Beauty in a mud wrestling death match. Who's the toughest of them all? With dwarf tossing afterwards. Can you stop? What happens when princesses stop being kind and start being real? And covered in mud? And when gets a chokehold? Okay, and stop. We're not doing that. Flames! Flames! Enough, Snake! You're weirding them out! <laughs> I'm extreme. No, you're not. Can we just do the show? Fine. But I want you to know something. You're no longer considered extreme in my book, got it? No longer extreme. <sighs> this is the Brothers Grimm Spectaculathon. That's right, and what we're about to do today is gonna blow your mind. We're about to attempt something so spectacular, you'll never be the same. If you need to go to the bathroom, go now and we'll wait. We don't want accidents. <laughs> you! You look a little touched going, Miss, you sure? Me? You okay? Alright then, keep an eye on that one. A little background to begin. The brothers Grimm were two brothers named Grimm. They are dead, but before they died, they wrote 209 fairy tales that we know of today. Uh, they didn't write them. The brothers Grimm did not write 209 fairy tales that we know of today. They were frauds. We should dig up their bodies and spit on their corpses. No! I'm just saying that they were collectors of stories. Never mind that last part. And these stories have become extremely popular. We all know them today. Such as The Wolf and the Seven Young Kids. The Pack of Ragamuffins. And Straw, Coal, and Bean. I forgot about that one. Oh yeah, Straw, Coal, and Bean. Only the best fairy tale in the entire history of the world? It's freaking amazing. I'm crying buckets by the end of it. It changed my life. I can't even look at Straw Corp be the same anymore. What's it about? No idea. These stories might not be household names, but quite a few of them have been immortalized in film and television. Of course they've all been changed by... The mouse to feed their enormous octopus like animation empire, which sucks the life out of existence and crushes your soul in a death grip of happy, happy songs and talking objects. I can't even speak of their name aloud because they're looking for ways to me right now. You'll never win. My uncle defended OJ. That means I can kill whoever I want and no one can get me. Okay. What we're going to do for you right now is return these fairy tales to their original glory. We have assembled the greatest troupe of actors the world has ever seen. And we... I thought there was supposed to be catering back here. There's like a beef thing somewhere. Where? I don't know. In the back somewhere. Is there anything to drink? No! Oh my gosh! These actors are so insanely talented that... I don't see it! Do you see the radiator? No! Oh wait, no! There's probably someone on it, just move them! Anyway, in just the short time we have, our crack team of actors are going to perform all 209 fairy tales of the Brothers Grimm. That's like... Three stories per minute. Or like a different number, if you actually know math. And we're going to keep the original endings intact. Blood, violence, death, people being covered with scissors. And to make things more difficult, we're going to perform them as originally intended, which is... Oh, enormous mega super story that will rock your world. Are y'all ready, kids? Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain! I'm so excited, I can throw up! <laughs> and make sure to put on some pants next time? Well, I don't know when he's coming back, so... Once upon a time, there was a girl who was raised by wolves, whose mother died at childbirth, and was abandoned by her father, who could spin straw into gold, and made a deal with a series of elves if they would help him make shoes. There was also a talking fox in there somewhere. Long time.
Anyway, there was a girl. And she was beautiful. And she was poor. I am poor. Dirt poor. She couldn't even afford dirt. Dirt for sale. Dirt for sale. Hey, you, get off the merchandise. Draw the gold and talk to wolves and make deals with the elves. And I was also acquainted with the talking fox. Excuse me, but I couldn't help overhearing a tale of misery and woe. Tell you what, I'll grant you your heart's greatest desire if you give me one small thing. That sounds like a great bargain. I'm not even going to ask what the small thing is because I'm so innocent and trusting. Excellent. I vanish. I vanish again! Oh, nice lady. Hey there. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> Are you a prince? Darkness? <laughs> oh, I've got a tale not to be seen back home. Now, I happen to overhear your tale of misery and woe, and I'm here to help. Well, actually, I was just- Sign this one small contract, and you shall conceive a daughter so beautiful the very earth it wants to kiss her. But in the time of grace, nothing can be. Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> this is sweet. Hello there. Ew, you're hideously deformed. I have a great bargain for you. My stomach recoils in horror as you approach me. Yes, I know that. But why has God's creation been so perverted? Do you want to hear my offer or not? Sure, go ahead. You're probably just worthy and I'm too stupid and don't judge people by their appearances. I shall make you rich, rich beyond your wildest dream. Can I have my own jet fighter with Tom Cruise in it? When he was 23 and not into like the strange stuff. He was still into that weird stuff, he just wasn't advertising it. Anyway. I shall make you rich. Not so rich that you can afford that bra that just fights up, but richer enough. And I only ask one small thing. Sounds good. Don't you want to know what the thing is? No, I trust you. Hm. Very well. It was a good day for the girl. She fell in love with a prince. Hey, you're hot. Duh, I am hot. Let's get married. She can very rich. Hey look, I just put over this pot of gold. What are the odds? <laughs> Score. And she conceived a child. How did that happen? Well, you see kids, when a prince and a princess love each other very much. Magic! <laughs> the magic of the devil. And that's where babies come from. Push, push, breathe. I'm breathing! How on earth would I not be breathing? I'd be dead if I wasn't breathing. You need to think before you speak. The miracle of childbirth. You can do it, honey. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Focus your anger, focus your anger. Ah. Oh, I can see his little head. Oh. Ah, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Years passed. And she went to a very beautiful young teenager named Rapunzel. Seriously? We're going with Rapunzel? I like the Amber. That was the name of your ex-girlfriend. We were just friends. Then why do you save her letters? Are you going to wear your hair like that? Shut up! Darling, we're going to have dinner, so go wash your hands. You can't tell me what to do. Don't talk to your mother that way. She sold her soul to the devil just to have you. I don't care. I didn't ask to be born. I'm going out. Um, you are not walking out of this house, young lady. That's what I want. You don't know me. I'm your mother. So? I'm gonna hang out with 
a fraud, Frank. He's just using you to get some action. You're gonna get points. He loves me. I don't care if he's green and slimy. I won't listen to this. I'm gonna go play golf instead. We're gonna run away together and have tadpoles and it's just then. I return. Your time is up. You know, I was just about to put it in the neighborhood and I was thinking like, we're not supposed to get something like ATV as a joke. I was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to get some things for my girl. And here I was, right on your doorstep. That's pretty cool. Huh. What do you want? Your, Your child. child. Um, my deal was first. I'm the devil, not a good sister. Well, there wouldn't be a girl if I wasn't providing music on the night of the day. Stop! Mom! What? How many deals did you make? Three. I know we have promised your hand in marriage to a talking rabbit, but what? It was dark. I was young. I needed the money and the prince and the baby. But just the money and the baby. I can't believe you. I hate you. I am so out of here. Why do you think I'm in counseling, huh? You've so ruined my entire life. Oh, come on. Stop being so melodramatic. Just go with the devil. Thank you. Told you I have a prior claim. Or the witch woman and the ugly freaky dwarf guy. If you guess my name, I release you from It's Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin? Darn it. The little man stomped his feet so hard they broke through the floor. And when he tried to pull them out, he broke in half. Do it! <laughs> Not cleaning that up. Now that that horrid little man is gone, I will take what comes home. Excuse me? I'm the devil. So? Um, Lord of Darkness, all that? I think I've got a little bit more strength in this girl than some stupid little witch. Enchantress. Whatever. Witch. Now's the time! Mom! Let's run! Quiet, honey, I'm watching this. Go down! Oh, goodness. But mom! I curse you. I curse you right back. You know what? This is stupid. Tell you what. If you sign my contract right here, I will let you take your time. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> and I get to see a thick cloud of brimstone. Well, come along, Rapunzel. Where are we going? We built this great tower for you. Run along, dear. <laughs> but mom, I don't want to go with the evil enchantress. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to raise a spoiled brat. But sometimes you don't always get what you want. Unless you make a deal with the devil and some other weird people. See ya. So the enchantress took Rapunzel and locked her in a high room upstairs and doors. As for the prince and her princess, I'm back from my golfing trip. What did I miss? Forces of darkness battled it out for our daughter, so. Cool. You wanna go to Hawaii? Uh, sounds nice. And the girl lived happily ever after. Rapunzel, however, grew very long hair because she was a hippie. She wasn't always known as Rapunzel's mother. When she was younger, she was known as. Gretel, what are you doing out? Nothing. You seem moody lately. Is this something we're bothering you? It's our mother and peer pressure. You see, our mother died before we were born. I remember. Our next story, Hansel and Gretel, or After School Special Meets Horror Movie. I'm haunted, Hansel. Haunted by her memory. I too am haunted. Perhaps the octagon to the woods where it starts. Can we get some cool lighting effects, please? Okay, now, people with names that start with letters A through F. You are group one. On my cue, I want you to make a scary horror movie sound, like this. 
Can we try that? Now you guys, you look a little smarter than those people over there. I'm sorry, it's true. Now, people with names that start with letters G through P, you are group two. On my cue, I want you to say, no, don't go in there. Can we try that? One, two, three. No, don't go in there. And finally, since this is an after school special, people with names that start with the letters Q through Z, you are group three. Repeat after me. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. Let's try that one. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer You're pressure. You're all a bunch of freaking geniuses. All right, everybody got it? Peer oh, pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. Peer pressure, peer pressure. <laughs> and back with our story. Hansel, I'm worried about you. Why? I saw you smoking behind the school the other day. Why do you do that? Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. Don't tell me what to do, Gretel. Smoking is cool. It makes me feel like a man. A cool, <coughs> a cool man with dark, sultry lungs and a deep, masculine cough. Let's go out into the woods. I don't know if I want to. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. Something's not right here. You're just a chicken. I feel so strange, Hansel. What's that? Mm, nothing. <laughs> it's a house. It's made out of candy. What should we do? Do you think I should try the door? If only I had some clue about what to do. No! Don't go in there! Huh. Let's go in there. It's dark in here. <laughs> Is that your hand? Are you eating her house? I'm hungry. You should try the floorboards. They're really tasty. I'm so disappointed in today's young people. I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson by eating you. Eating us? But first, I'm gonna fatten you up. Well, Hansel and Gretel were locked away in force-fed sugar water like mice, and they got fatter and fatter, and then they dieted a little bit, but then they got fatter again, until one day... Why does my cologne smell like gravy? Well, my pretties, except you, the boy. You have more of a rugged masculinity about you. Thanks. Excellent. Come along, Hansel. It's Hansel. All right. <laughs> Can you put this apple in your mouth, please? If you just crawl in there. No! Don't go in there! Oh, I dropped a quarter. Can you pick it up? A quarter? Eat this, witch! I was talking to some bad kids down by the right behind the school. I don't like those bad kids. And they were telling me that drugs are cool. Drugs aren't cool. Come on, Gretel. All the cool kids are doing it. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. I don't know, Hansel. 
it's fairy dust. Everyone's doing it. It lets you fly. I don't want to fly. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer. Fine, I'll do it myself then. I jumped off a cliff. I can fly. Maybe. It's up to you, audience. If you clap hard enough, Hansel will live. Come on, people, let me live. Come on, don't you believe a boy can fly? Come on. Come on out there, please. <laughs> you didn't clap hard enough. He died. You know, I've been to show plenty of times, and every time the audience clapped hard enough for that handsome to live. Every time. I just don't know what to say. You know, I really think it comes down to group two. They didn't clap hard enough. Their heart wasn't really into it. Hansel? I'm sorry, Gretel. Oh no. Veritas has claimed another young life. Anyway, after Hansel's untimely death, thank you very much, group two. <sighs> she married a wandering woodcutter, and they had a daughter who would grow up to make a deal with several supernatural entities who would eventually imprison her daughter in the tower. But one question remains. Where did the witch come from? Fun you should ask. Once upon a time, there was a dwarf. I prefer dwarves. In fact, two dwarves. I prefer dwarves. These dwarves worked all day in the mines. I'm working on the railroad. Mines! Whistle while you work. The dwarves worked all day in the mines. They sang their little song. And then one day, they came home to find... What the heck is that thing? She's huge! Get her away from me! She's gonna eat me! You see, in those days, people were cannibals, which explains the witch from before. The first dwarf, though, who we will name Dopey, <coughs> Sloppy, wasn't afraid. Arr. I like ladies, so, uh, baby, couldn't open no one you were in my bed. Stop! This is a children's story! So, I'm gonna chop you up anymore. Time out! Time out! What? I'm just doing what my character wants. You do not get to eat, Snow White. You're not the villain of the story. No, look. I've been doing some character work, and Sloppy has had a hard life. He's been discriminated against for being a dwarf. He works in the mines all day. He's got blue lung, you know? And he hates the world. He just hates it. He does not! And he wants revenge against the humans who have wronged him. So when this giant chick comes into his home, Dinner time. No, we're going to do the story as originally written. Snow White cleans the house for the dwarves. Then she gets poisoned by an apple. Then a prince shows up. Why do I have to clean the house? Is it because I'm a woman? Yes. No, it's because you feel sorry for the little dwarves because they're messy and you have OCD and want to make everything nice. I don't see why I have to be the maid here. I'm the princess. They should be cleaning for me. You know. All right, she's become way too much trouble. Let's eat her. We're doing the story as originally written. You know, maybe we should just let them rewrite the story. I don't think so. Okay, I've got another one. I've been cursed by a witch and I now have supernatural powers. Guys, the originals are, how do you say, bad. Oh, really? These are classic stories. Classics. And now can animate zombies. I've always wanted to animate zombies. Classics, huh? Let me show you a classic. Number 191, Lean Lisa. Never heard of it. So once upon a time, Lean Lisa lay in bed with her husband, Long Lawrence. Do I get to be Long Lawrence? Yeah. Sweet. Dear husband, I was thinking. I'm trying to sleep. Well, I'm tired of being poor and hungry. What if we took the cow in the field and tried to get her to have more calves? Then? We could raise the calves and sell them and we'd have more money! 
more money to buy animals, and then we wouldn't have to starve anymore. Oh! That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> you know what I think? You're lazy. Why, you wagging tongue woman? And she died. The end. Seriously? That's what it says? It's like right here. If I can find the page again, you make me work so much. Just like do so much for you. Just every single time. Right here. Wow. That story sucks. Okay, can I tell my version now? Are y'all gonna need me anytime soon? Yes, we're starting over right now. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl. Uh, you. You're gonna be Snow White. Really? I've always wanted to be Snow White. I remember my fifth birthday. It was a dress up party. And my friends came as Boba Fett and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and that weird thing from McDonald's commercials. But I was Snow White. And I was so pretty in my little dress and my wig and tiara. And that was the happiest day of my life. Until my mom told me I was a dwarf. And of course, she was the one who dressed me in those. And moving on. She was the most beautiful girl in the entire kingdom. I am. I am the prettiest. But her stepmother was jealous. Snow White. Stepmother. Is that the zit I see on your face? You'd like that, wouldn't you? I do believe you're putting on weight. Bye, sister. These curves are tight and streamlined like a racing yacht owned by a rich Colombian drug dealer. I think you need to twist your eyebrows. They're looking puffy. My eyebrows are sculpted like a block of clay in the hands of a blind god of sculpting eyebrows. Who, who writes this stuff? Really, who writes this? Just go with it. And the stepmother went to her room and gazed into her magical mirror. Mirror, mirror, hanging on the black hooks. Why must I be judged by my looks? Fashion magazines. I'm so much more. I've got a brain and martial arts skills. I'm going to be one of the Seven Sisters after I graduate from high school, where I plan to on um, double majoring on social psychology and women's studies. I only answer to rhyming questions. Besides, those aren't even real majors. Okay, mirror, mirror, hanging over there. How do I make the young people care? Put it in a music video with hot chicks. That's not very good. And just then, it was her stepmother. Stepmother. Oh, why? Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Snow White. Stepmother. Look at me in no despair. For I have went to a lot of places to search me in Hollywood. My bus points north. My skin is smooth as a lake after a fire. I've tattooed, I've blazed off all my tattoos, and I've tucked some in a human in my life experience in the past 27 years. And now, I am more beautiful than even you. Dang it. Hm. Well, how about an apple as a peace offering? What are you gonna learn, stepmother? that we women shouldn't be judged by our surface beauty, but rather by the contents of our brains. <laughs> um, that's just stupid. But how about I use my martial arts skills to take you out there? Oh, it's on. Hey, I was in the neighborhood looking for a girl in a coma to make out with. Whoa, chick fight. And it was a glorious battle. Ow! Snow White, go! A titanic struggle of good and evil, purity versus corruption. Until finally, darkness found my soul into a black dragon. <laughs> no, that that was Sleeping Beauty. 
Oh, oh, I'm melting. Actually, I'm bleeding. Oh. That was so hot. Like someone else I know, Prince. You're very forward. I'm a modern woman. Come on, let's get married. And just then. I ho, hi ho. What did you just call me? Um, it's nothing. Look, I've been living with a whole bunch of dwarves and I've heard enough. You're lucky enough to become my servant. Come with me. And they lived happily ever after. And all the other stuff that Snow White was supposed to do. <laughs> the end. That was enlightened. Thank you. But the witch actually survived the vicious stabbing. It's just a flesh wound. Stop! What? It is. It's just a flesh wound. I've heard worse. Please just get through this play without any Monty Python references. You're no fun. And she decided to make a house out of candy and eat children. Where did the dwarf come from? Exactly. You see, the true secret origin here is a dwarf number two. This is a story I like to call. Number 95, the devil's grandmother. Wait, the devil has a grandmother? Everyone has a grandmother, and you need to call yours before she dies. I have a phone call to make. <laughs> I thought she would never leave. Now, before I start this very special story, I'd like us to think of that special old person in our lives. And imagine what it would be like for one day to be old. Imagine how it must feel to have your best days behind you and only really be waiting for the welcoming arms of death. Well, this is a very special story brought to you by the Hallmark Channel. Could we get some fuzzy lighting on everyone's set? Maybe a kind of warm, soft glow? Could you try that again, please? What is your problem? Yeah, I'm talking to you. This is a special moment. You're ruining the special moment. What did you just say to me? This is a family show, you walking pile of putrescence. You don't even know what putrescence means, do you? You know why you don't know? Cause you went to a public school. They don't even teach vocab there anymore. Hey, where do you get that picture of my mom? Oh, you're dead. And now, for a very special Hallmark Channel presentation, The Devil's Grandmother. Times were tough on the old farm. Now that my husband's dead, I'll just plan this garden. That's all I've got left, really. A special garden. A garden of love. Grandmama, I heard about Grandpa. Could you use a hug? Boy, could I. And so begin a very special relationship between a grandmother and her grandchild, who just happened to be the devil. Can I help you plant this piece, Grandmama? Sure you can, grandchild. Just don't let me catch you using that black magic of yours. Oh, Grandmama. <laughs> <laughs> Say, your horns are getting bigger? I'm growing up. So you are. So you are. But the garden couldn't stay green forever. Grandmama. What happened? Who are you again? What? I'm your grandchild. The devil. Now, where did I put my glasses? Oh, there they are. I'm afraid your grandmother has Alzheimer's. It's not fair! It's not fair, Grandma! So, they decided to go on one last road trip together. I always wanted to see the Grand Canyon. We'll make it there, even though I can't legally drive. Or if we lost never stopped you before. You're right! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you again? It'd be the wackiest road trip of their lives. Did you just burn down Albuquerque?
that maybe, just maybe, they learn a little something about the power of the human heart. Hey, Mama, we ran out of gas, and there's still a human heart in the nuclear power of her. Who are you again? But the greatest lesson would be when they reached the Grand Canyon. You know, grandchild, me and your grandfather were simple people. We liked simple things. We were supposed to come out here for a honeymoon. Never made it, because there was chores to be done. Boy, would he love this view, though. I could summon it from the dead and place a suicide coyote. Wouldn't be the same. Which coyote? But even very special Hallmark Channel movies have sad ending. Grandmama. Grandmama. She didn't make it. I curse you. And she shrank and shrank until she became quite small. In fact, a dwarf. Now go work in a mine with the rest of your clients. <laughs> I'm going to Disneyland. To worry there in one of those big costumes where I walk around and pretend to be one of the Disney characters, but you don't know which one. So next time you're in Disneyland, you see Chip and Dale walking toward you. <laughs> mm. And I'm back to prevent lawsuits. Too late. <laughs> we can't really understand. When did you get braces? Yeah, and when did you get a haircut? Of course, we can't really understand that story until we know where the devil's grandmother came from. Can we just pause for a second? What? Is it really how the Brothers Grimm recorded their stories? More of a modern adaptation. You know, we took a few liberties. Okay, fine. The real story is about a couple of soldiers who sign away their souls, but the devil's grandmother feels sorry for them. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody gets killed in the end. I just thought the title was funny. Fine, but now we have to fit that into our storyline. No problem, because long before she was the devil's grandmother, she was a little girl. <laughs> Just hold on. What is it now? There was some really bad beef and catering. Oh, the catering is bad! It's bad! Bad! I had the beef! And like, everybody's throwing up back there. Excuse me. I have enough actors left to do this one. What? Well, I guess we can skip them then too. Too bad about the frog prince, little red riding the hood, the talking fish, Cinderella? No, we are not skipping it! How many actors do we have left? Me. This is my chance to be a star. Got it? You're going to tell my story, I am going to get a full length feature film out of it, and you're going to make me look good. Got it? Got it? Or I will tear out your heart and use it as a chew toy for my half chihuahua to have Doberman mix. Got it? I yes, ma'am. Okay, 
So her mother died and her father remarried. Mother? Where are you, mother? Are you dead? Mother? Man, I'm dead. The woman he married was beautiful of face, but black of heart. Now, Cinderella's stepmother had two daughters, equally as beautiful. I'm sorry. I think you have that wrong. I'm the pretty one. Well, they're quite hideous. Says here. Says here the beautiful too. I think I know my story. Thank you. Does it smell in here or does the jets hurt? <laughs> that was a good one, Giselle. Cinderella, you need to get us ready for the ball. <laughs> what ball? The ball being thrown by Prince Charming, of course. Oh, he's so charming. Anytime I see him, I walk up his feet tight to my bottom and squeeze until his guys spray me with pepper spray. <sighs> Make us pretty. <gasps> Please make me prettier than her. I need Charming. I need him. Please. I suppose I'm going a lot of makeup. <laughs> so being the good girl that she was, I'm so good. Cinderella dressed both her sisters for the ball. I'm so hot. I'm gorgeous. Why, God? Why? Why, Cinderella, what seems to be the issue, darling? Life! Life and the misery that it entails! If only my mother, my poor, dear, dead mother were alive! Maybe she would take me to the ball! Come here and take a seat from your stepmother's lap, darling. That's weird. Just then, one of Cinderella's stepsisters entered. Giselle! Mother, aren't you coming? In a moment, dear, and I'll run along. Thank you, I will. But just then, one of Cinderella's other wicked stepsisters entered. I need to be going. You do that, witch! What'd you just call me? You heard me. I said witch. Oh no, you didn't! Girls, please, you're both crazy, you're both going to the ball, and you both need to exit without saying anything else. And so they leave. Now, Cinderella, I am a fair wicked stepmother, so I'm going to dump an entire dish of lentils into the fireplace. And once you pack them all out, then you may go to the ball with us. And with that, she dumped a dish of lentils into the fireplace like she said she was going to do. What are lentils? They're going soup, and apparently they're difficult to get out of a fireplace. Oh, the human! So, um, question. Do I have to play each individual bird, or can I be <laughs> collectively the birds? Yes, you can be a collective group of birds. <laughs> you have no idea how much this means to me. Tweet, 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 tweet. Birds. Oh, they're so beautiful. Come, my little feather friends. Come and peck these lentils out of the fireplace. Uh, I am truly blessed, 
Fly, birds, fly. The light of freedom. We lost the ball. How can life be so cruel? <laughs> but what's that? My fairy girl. A bird's carrying a dress. Tweet, 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 tweet. What a lovely dress. <clears throat> Isn't this where she sort of like comes in and does a little magic thing? Nope. We're going by the original. There's no fairy godmother, just a bunch of birds. Shut up, let me see that. There's no fairy godmother in here. I was about 11 when I figured out I didn't have a fairy godmother. This is ridiculous! I'm Cinderella, I have a fairy godmother, and a coachman out of pumpkin, and a bunch of coachmen made out of mice. Oh, so there's no mice, is there? Next thing you know, I don't have a glass slipper. I don't have a glass slipper? I don't even know the story anymore! Maybe I just get beheaded at the end. I just get beheaded at the end? I don't know, I haven't watched the end yet. Ugh, I quit. Um, <laughs> we can't continue. Uh, th there's no Cinderella. Sure there is. Put on the dress, Mateo. You know what? Fine, I'll do it. But I'm not doing any more funny voices, alright? You got it. It's done. Cinderella put on her dress and she felt very pretty. Thank you, birds. I feel pretty. I shall now walk to the ball. But the ball was guarded by a bouncer, a one-armed, eye-patch-wearing Scottish pirate named Mac. Ye be doing here at this here ball. If it's not Scottish, it's crap! Well, I would like to come in, please. Would you mind? Got it! And just then, Cinderella's wicked stepmother, two wicked stepsisters arrived. Zorella! What are you doing here? The dress, and I'm going to the ball, because the birds, by the way, thank you, brought it to me! And then the birds came down! And then they pecked out Max's other eye! Ack! My eye! And just then... The Prince! Hello! We're having a bright time, aren't we? Blimey! Who's that mix over there? She's gorgeous! My name's Cinderella. My name's Cinderella. Alright, this is getting pretty weird. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this guy. Maybe he should win an Oscar. An Oscar? Get out of the way, Mateo. I'm coming, Prince. And then they dance all night long. What are these strange feelings? Did it be love? Oh, my heart is beating so fast. Will you love me back? Wasn't I supposed to drop like a glass slipper or something? You drop a slipper on your third trip to the prince's ball, the birds keep bringing you more dresses, and you keep dancing. Then finally, the prince smears pitch on the steps of the palace, and your slipper gets stuck. Your golden slipper, by the way. Golden shoe. 
He comes looking for the foot that fits the golden slipper. Huh. It does sound more comfortable. Hello then! Any of you darlings lost a shoe? <laughs> I did, I did! <laughs> Let me see that. Can I try it on in the bathroom? I'm shy. Righto! And of course her foot was too big, so she chopped off the big toe. Uh, it fits fine. I love you. Bangers and mash, up and me carriage. Let's get married. Excellent. Say, what's all this then? There's blood everywhere. You chopped off your own toe, didn't you? I never had toes. What? Out me carriage with you. Go, shoot. So Cinderella's wicked stepsister went home, and the prince returned to find Cinderella's other wicked stepsister. Uh, may I try on the shoe in the bathroom so no one can watch what I'm doing? Of course! I'm not all that bright. <laughs> and once she was in the bathroom, the shoe didn't fit either. So she did the only sensible thing and chopped off her heel. Ah, son of a mother witch! Say, you're right in there, love. I'm fine. See? It fits! Why, well, you're as pretty as a daisy. Alright then, up me carriage, let's get married! Peachy! Say, do I smell blood? I cut myself off shaving. Blimey, is that blood on your foot? I have hairy feet like a hobbit. <laughs> you cut off your own heel, you daft wench! I did it for you! And so the prince returned to the house for a third time. Hello there! I realize that several ladies in this ear household have chopped off body parts to fit in this ear shoe. And I was wondering if anybody else fit it. See, I'm not very bright or observant when it comes to most things, but I'm very persistent, which makes me ideal to run the government. I will try this shoe. It fits! My love! It is you! It is I! And lived happily ever after. For the stepsisters, the swarm birds pecked out their eyes, just for fun. Tweet! 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 That is not the end of our story. That's the beginning. Exactly. I thought you had the beef. Oh, we were all fine. We just wanted to see if he could do it. <laughs> That's not very nice. Eh, what can you do? Well, we're running out of time. So it's time for the lightning round recap. It is? Of course, otherwise no one would be able to follow the narrative. So what we're going to do to finish off the show is we perform everything we've already done in two minutes. Ready? I was born ready. All right then, and go! Cinderella got pregnant. Heavens! After they were married. Joyous day! But her daughter married a demon. This is all your fault! Then Cinderella became old. Oh now, grandchild! You're losing your mind because you're old! You're the devil! I know! You're sick. All right, let's go to the grave. You're dead. All right. I curse you! Now I'm a dwarf. I mean, little person. Ah, giant hottie. Ah, a dwarf. It's little person. How about you come stay with me and tuck me in at night? You're not gonna press me. I'm hotter than you. I don't judge myself by looks, but I'm way hotter than you. Want to fight about it? Yeah. What's going oh, on you're going for stronger than mine. What's going on here? I'm an emancipated princess, and I'm going to take what I want. You. I'm not dead yet. I said no Monty Python. Hey, let's see that lady's house. That's a great idea. How about I eat you instead? How about I push you in the oven and you die? Oh, I'm dying in an ironic way. Hey, look, I'm having a daughter. Ah! I'm dying in childbirth. Darn it. I'm how I'm poor. Ah, the devil being changed to the weird guy. Rambo Stetskin, dang it. Deal? Deal. Hey, babe, you want to get married? I hate you, I guess I'm a teenager. Tough, because I already sold you to the devil, the enchantress, and the weird guy. 
Come along, Rapunzel. I have a nice tower for you. You can have her, as long as you sign this contract. Fine. Bye. 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 They lived happily ever after. And? I hope that contract I signed with the devil doesn't have any repercussions. You'll find out. The end. The end. The end. The end. I said my line, I just didn't like I I didn't record it when I So I ruined my entire life. <laughs> my entire life. <laughs> She looked terrifying. Okay, here we go! Ready! Set! Go. However, that is not the end of our story. That's the beginning. The, the end! end. end. Yeah. 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 My dog! Yeah. 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 That's a fun amount. How much price was that? A lot.